And welcome back, everyone, to the Naruto What If. What if Naruto has on fucked out the Nuzarashi edition, part three. Last time on Naruto What If, we made it to the end of the Forest of Death, and now the Chunin Zans are about to actually take place. The preliminaries are about to take place. Um, and unfortunately for Sasuke, he did get the curse mark here. Naruto actually finally had a conversation with Nozarashi for the first time. Uh, it was it was a pretty decent conversation. Also, kind of you know interacted with the fox for the first time. Doesn't like the fox very much, but what are you gonna do? And so the actual exams take place, and there's nothing about this one that would change up the pairings at all. I have one particular person who kind of just wants some variety, and you know says asks about the pairings changing and. I'm only going to do that if it actually makes sense. There has to be either someone missing or new additions to the group or something like that because other, the who was there doesn't change very often in these what-ifs. So there's no reason that even though they're randomized, that's the order they showed up on in the story. That So, so yeah. So Nar Sasuke faces, I think it's Yori is the name of this guy. I think this time I've actually remembered it. Um... Yeah, but just to recap, real quick, you think eventually I'd commit this damn thing to the guy's name to memory. The guy who uh, absorbs chakra, Team Kabuto. Uh, okay, Team Kabuto. There we go. Uh, Team Kabuto was composed of uh, uh, Yuri. No, yeah, I was right. Yuri, 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 Yuri. Uh, and Mitsumi was the guy who stretched, if I uh, remember correctly. The chakra absorption was actually a pretty good ability. The um, absorb the stretching ability, eh, not really that impressive, really, when you break it down. Um, um, anyway, so he and Sasuke square up, and unfortunately for Yori, because Sasuke doesn't have to deal with his curse mark now because it's been sealed off and he had a day or two to recover, he's good enough to fight and actually use his abilities. Which means that he's also capable of using his fire style as well as his sharing gun. Which means Yori's not tagging this dude. Yori's not getting any chakra off of this guy. Now, that being said, one of the cool scenes I always imagine is Sasuke launches a fire star, fireball jutsu at him. And because he can absorb chakra, and it's basically just a chakra fireball, he kind of just holds his hands out and just absorbs a lot of it. But it's like the flame's still in his arms, so he's still kind of burnt. But he's still capable of continuing... Uh, the, the fight. Unfortunately, it's just one of those scenarios where Sasuke is very, very quickly going to get the better of him. And even more quickly because he is more physically capable in this version than he is in the original because he's had to compete with Naruto. Speaking of which, the Sas Sakura uh, Ino fight would go almost exactly the same. I, he, Sakura has not had any increases in her abilities in this one to really close that, uh, to widen the gap enough. So, there you go. Now we get to Naruto's fight. Kiba and him are squared up, and then Kuro and I and Kiba are both like, "Oh, sorry, Akashi, but we'll Kiba will try to make it quick." So uh, no worries at all, Kuro and I. Kiba's like, "We got the run, all right." And Naruto's like, uh -huh, "Finally." And be but before that, Sasuke, uh, they, Sakura kind of points out, and Naruto, you might want to take your jacket off. Oh, huh? why? Because you barely have a jacket left. And he re looks down, and he realizes that his orange jacket, his favorite orange jacket, has been kind of put through the shredder at this point. He's missing a sleeve on one side. One of the, like, it's torn all the way down. It's like, it's ragged. It's like, ah, cr and Nard's like, crap. Ah. Uh, he's like, well, I like this jacket a lot, too. Oh, well. Because I'll have to figure something out. And so he just, you know, tosses it on the ground. And so he's going, he's still got his, obviously, his mesh, a mesh ninja, uh, armor i guess we call it as well as his black undershirt but more to the point now as he takes it off everyone and most of the ladies except for soccer who has seen him in his, as his physique are actually now kind of like either blushing or like because naruto has not slacked on his physical training at all he's for his age which would be 12 approaching on 13 he's pretty jacked and he's even been managed he's even managed to grow an inch or two he's about sakura's height now well, yeah, because Sasuke is the tallest of three, Sakura is the second, and Naruto is the shortest. He's about Sakura's height, so he's kind of walks down. Um, he's got his sword on his back, but he stops and thinks, eh, hold, yeah, actually, could you hold on to this, Sakura? like, uh, what? You're not going to eat it? Nope, not going to eat it for this idiot. <laughs> um, and uh, besides, I don't, besides, I don't like to use it on weak guys. I don't like to use my sword on weak guys. <laughs> and, uh, 
and Kiba can kind of hear, like, what's that? And Naruto gets down. <clears throat> All right, dog breath, let's do this. <laughs> That's like, and the match begins, really? You think you can become Okage, you little idiot? You think I'm the weak one, huh? Well, it's like, is that right? Well, why don't we just... And all of a sudden, he kind of pauses as, Nar as he kind of feels this pressure coming off Naruto. Now, someone had kind of begged me to do this. I'm not going to do it exactly to Zoraki, okay? And Arto is not a one-to-one -one in Zoraki. He's just not going to be that. He's definitely going to have traits as Zoraki. And there's an argument to be made for this, I think. Because Naruto has been dry, uh, practicing with chakra control, one of the things he's been doing is trying to, like, flex his chakra while also trying to keep it contained. And one of maybe one of the byproducts is it kind of is a way to at least some level of killing intent or kind of just make the whole environment feel a little uneasy so naruto kind of does this you can even see the chakra kind of the uh, kind of almost like like blue flames coming off him and naruto is just kind of standing there and it's like his aura is kind of just is like uh, kind of intimidating him just like uh, what the <laughs> it's like what's wrong dog breath i thought you were going to try to attack me come on do don't be boring let's just do let's do this <laughs> it's like <laughs> yeah you're it's like you you're gonna regret putting that sword away i bet you can't even use that thing uh, to which Naruto's like, no, it's like I told Sakura, I don't like to use it. I don't like to use it on allies, but more importantly, I don't like to use it on weak guys. And you know, Kiba just comes in like, you, and rushes Naruto, and he does hit Naruto. But this is basically the same thing Naruto did in the original, where he took the hit to test Kiba's strength. And unlike before, Naruto doesn't just go straight down. In fact, he actually he braces, and he did take the hit. And it's like, ah, well, maybe he will be kind of fun, Kiba. <laughs> It's like, you, you, it's like, come on, let's do this, Akamaru, and Akamaru comes at Naruto, it's like, what, come on, don't do, what are you doing, uh, and Naruto makes the clones, catches Akamaru, yeah, it's it Akamaru, it's like, all right, that's enough, Kiba, come on, you don't want me to hurt your old friend here, it's like, Akamaru, catch, and Akamaru gets the pill, and he goes, you know, into full-on rage mode, and he breaks out of the Naruto clone's hands, the beast clone mimicry, it's like, uh, well, this, uh, this isn't good, uh, fang over fang! The Naruto is now getting kind of beat on, and now it's like, oh, maybe I should have taken the, uh, taken the sword. Uh, but in the minute uh, Kiba stops, Naruto catches his wrist, like, huh? It's like, yeah, finally got you! Boom! Just smashes him in the face. Um, it's like, you! Uh, the other Kiba comes in, but Naruto just catches him, just flat, and just flips him. I was like, you're going to have to do better than that. Shadow clone jutsu! Multiple shadow clones come out. The Kiba clones, again, fang over fang. Ripping a lot of the clones apart. Naruto transforms into Kiba. Tricks Kiba into punching Akamaru. And unlike before, we're Naruto really... Here's the thing. I watch this scene every time. And Naruto rushes in. Looks like he's about to deck Kiba. And then kicks him. I, I don't understand that quite that train of logic but whatever instead of naruto is a lot quicker on the draw a lot physically just tougher than he used to be so he comes in rushes in and Kiba turns around right as naruto's there and naruto just boom smacks him right in the jaw and, oh, and Kiba goes almost sputtering back but he's able to catch himself oh, you will but that doesn't matter and, and he's keep calm kind of keep calm bites his hand to keep calm and, uh, and basically, Naruto's scoring up against him again. I don't think he's going to use the Uzumaki barrage here. And Naruto, Naruto is more wanting to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kiba here, just kind of prove the point that, yeah, no, I can beat you anytime. He's not going to use the Fox Shark, because if he does, A, he knows he'll beat Kiba, but B, that's not fair then. And plus, no one else needs to see that. Naruto's very aware of that point. So Kiba, you know, throws the, uh, throws the shuriken at him. Naruto is like, hmm, I probably shouldn't, yeah, I would have liked to use my sword on this, but whatever, Naruto did still dodge in the original. Kiba comes in, they're now actually clashing straight out. Kiba is still faster, I think, than Naruto, but not, Naruto physically overwhelms him. Like, at this point, he's just stronger, straight out, and he's kind of, like, flexing his chakra a bit to just kind of, not, not truly do what Tsunade and Sakura do by enhancing the physical strength of the chakra, but it's kind of like a, a pseudo version of that where he's just kind of flexing his chakra and it is increasing his physicality and durability, much like a Kipachi kind of thing. And so 
when Kiba lands another strike, Naruto is already flexing his chakra. So this time, it actually Kiba's like that. It felt like I was hitting a tire, what, or whatever. They, they don't really have vehicles in the Naruto world that much. Uh, or it felt like I was hitting something really, like, really hard, like rubber or something, which rubber exists. So, like, uh, like rubber. And then Naruto's like, poof. I was like, this is over. And then all of a sudden, he and he grabs Kiba, Shadow Clone Jutsu, poof. And maybe he does do, like, a variety of the rules of Maki Barrage. Kicks Kiba straight up in the air. Uh, you know, throws Kiba straight up in the air. The clones go kick him, and then the final Naruto clone comes down, except this time it's not a kick, it's just a straight punch to the ground, and Naruto uh, lays out Kiba. And so Naruto is declared the winner. Now, some of you might get disappointed that I didn't bring the sword into play, but keep in mind, Nar again, Naruto is not Kenpachi. <laughs> like, I just, I need to keep re uh, reiterating that point. He is not whoever the Zanpakuto's original owner is. He may gain traits of that person, or the Zanpakuto, but he's not directly that person. Naruto will and can fight without a blade if he feels he needs to. And against, like, just a preliminary match against a, a person he went to class with, and also was not, from what we can tell in the flashbacks, not on terrible terms with. Kiba was just a very cocky kid. It's it, it makes sense that he wouldn't actually try to hurt him. And so Naruto gets back up there, and now his, his other shirt's kind of torn from Kiba's closet. Oh, come on, Really? Ah oh, man, I'm gonna be shirtless up here now. <laughs> Even Sakura's like, well, that's not a bad thing. Because <laughs> as much as she still likes Sasuke, her opinion of Naruto has been greatly improved, and even she'll admit, like, he's in much better shape than Sasuke. So the, you know, the hormonal parts of the, all the girls' brains when Naruto kind of takes off his shredded shirt and she's like, oh man, I'll go. He nodded though, sees that he did get cut up from Kiba, so before, it's trying her damnedest not to just faint on the spot for me buff shirtless naruto she's just like, of course that being said knowing her at that time she very well might just drop dead she's like ah! i mean think of your crush a man or woman or non-binary think of your think of your crush and what you would do if you suddenly saw them with their shirt off now if they if they're like of the female sex then you know maybe they're, they're like in their bra or something like that or like in a training bra or like a bikini but imagine if they took their shirt off and like your tone tone body you know whatever you know everything's working up there but if you're if you're your crushes of the male sex then imagine them like you know buff and everything like that like just if you're a 13 year old or mortal teenage girl i'm just saying uh Naruto's kind of becoming a heartthrob unintentionally but I think Minata still works up the courage to hand Naruto the ointment. He's like, huh? What's this? He's like, it's a healing ointment. Go ahead. Naruto's like, oh, thanks, Minata. That's very nice of you. And he's like, whoa, this works fast. Um, so Naruto's got to get a new shirt, it's, uh, new clothes at some point. Uh, and Kakashi's like, here, Naruto. I, uh, I, seeing as you tend to get a little torn up, I, I can't actually keep a spare set of shirts just in case. Oh, thanks, Kakashi. That's how he puts on a spare black shirt. I can see it being... A little bit longer sleeved than actually i could see it being basically not the he, true hiori uh or hiora or what i think it's called hiori um or, or haori haori basically what the shinigami wear but something like a long sleeve with like a bit of a droopy sleeve black shirt than arco could be wearing i could see something like that um more or less uh but regardless uh, or like, kind of like what dry was kind of like a tunic style thing. So I can see Naruto wearing something like that. It's like, hey, this kind of fits nice. It's, ooh, and it's and got a lot of, it's like, ah, oh, I'm going to have to get more of these. Uh, but then the rest of the matches go the same. Hinata goes against Naji. Naruto is definitely encouraging her here. The only real difference here is that when, um, you know, Hinata is about to get killed, I actually think Naruto might even step in this time because, you know, he's, again, they got that battle loss. Plus, I think he hates people who don't have a sense of honor. Kenpachi didn't really care about honor per se, like if his opponent had it. Like Nuratora did not have honor. Uh he was he was a terrible son of a bitch. But he Kempachi himself does have a moral code of some level. Like he's not gonna kill an opponent who's already on death's door. He's not gonna keep fighting. But if the opponent keeps fighting, it's like, alright, fine. Uh I'll keep fighting. But um but yeah, so I, I think, and Naruto we know has a moral code. So I think a little bit of that comes in. And Naruto is actually being held back. It's not Kakashi who's stopping his hand here. Kakashi's stopping Naruto, who's already got his blade out. He's like, let me go, Kakashi. And calm down, Naruto. You don't want, you kill him, you'll be expelled. So, you know, but, yeah. Fine. And Neji's even surprised. Uh, surprised. Naruto has a little flash of red in his eyes. Like, uh, I'll be seeing you very soon. And so... 
Uh, and then Nara, Hinata Claus like, Hinata! It's like, do you think I could choose? Do you want to talk about that? And, it's like, and Naruto makes a promise on her blood. Gar's fight goes the same with Lee, unfortunately for Lee. Same with Choji and um, Dosu. Uh, and then the lots are drawn. Naruto would fight against Neji. And this time it's like, perfect. And now here's where I think the real big departure happens. Now, I have this entire part uh, thought out until, or written down anyway, uh, and then thought, it's in my head, uh, up until the tuning exams, the final runs actually begin. When Naruto goes to confront Kenpachi, uh, Kenpachi, God, that'd be, that's a different what if for another time. Believe it or not, I do have a what if in mind that would involve something like that. Not that he confronts Kenpachi, but where those two exist in the same world. Uh, in fact, there are multiple what-ifs I have listed down there that work that way, but I digress. So, when Sakura and, or at least when Naruto goes to meet with Kakashi, actually, I think it's more Kakashi's going to meet with Naruto, and Sasuke's not in the hospital here, so Kakashi is meeting with Naruto to address, you know, the concerns about training him. Surprisingly, though, Naruto's like, well, oh, you're going to train Sasuke, aren't you? He's like, and it's not, well, Naruto, come on now. No, it's all right. Oh? No, Sasuke, he's going to need all the help he needs. Well, by the time I get to the tuning exam, the actual exam, I'm going to be at least ten times as strong. Believe, believe it. It's like, well, oh, I'm actually surprised you didn't want me to train you. I mean, was that a, was that an option? I'm not I'm not against being trained, but I can work on my own, too. It's not a big deal. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear you have such a positive attitude, Naruto, but I do actually have someone lined up to help you out. It's like, really? Who's that? That would be me. Oh, not this guy! Come on! Anyone but this guy! He's like, oh, you two know each other? It's like, yeah, he saw my sexy jutsu one time. He's like, I will never live down that day. Sexy jutsu? Oh. Uh, come on, this guy, this, I'm not going to get trained by someone who's weaker than I am. He's an elite Joni special jo teacher. Oh, frankly, he's a better teacher than I am, which, I mean, it's debatable. We, The problem with saying that Ebby's, that's a what if list, or top 10 list I could do someday. The best teachers in Naruto. I. I, you know, I don't know if I'll, uh, if a, uh, I'll Google, I'll uh, YouTube that, but I don't know if that, because uh, I did the dumbest Nar Mar Naruto Shippuden and dumbest Naruto um, part one moments. And those were, those, those were big hit videos. Uh, same with the, uh, uh, at least for my channel, they were big hit videos. Same with the Rasengan of every type, the uh, Keke Totas of every type. So I like doing videos like that. So if I get at least 10 people in the comments below, I'll do a top 10 best teachers in Naruto video. That's a lot of people. To go. And I'll, I'll stick with canon, by the way. I'm not going to go into filler or movies. Regardless. Um, uh, it's tough to say whether or not Ebisu is a better teacher than Kakashi, because we just don't have a firm sample size of what he's actually taught. We know who he's taught, Team 7 with Konohamaru and Konohamaru himself, but he didn't teach, Ebi Ebisu didn't teach him the Rasengan. He most likely taught him the fundamentals and physical stuff, just like Naruto was teaching Naruto. And... Uh, and Kakashi does still say, he's like, Naruto, no matter how strong you get, the fundamentals are still, well, fundamental, and yours could use work. Even though he, Naruto did just demonstrate he did, he's been learning a chakra control exercise that no one else has thought of, still, he wouldn't be wrong. For all the growth Naruto has had here, finesse and control is not one of his better suits. Uh, so, Ebisu, I think Ebisu and Naruto would still have kind of their um, little, uh, challenge, except it's more that Naruto doesn't care that Kakashi's not teaching him, he's just the one that Ebisu to teach him, and Ebisu doesn't want to teach Naruto either, but he's doing it as a favor to Kakashi, and because of that, like, honor's dictating, I've got, I'm gonna teach you, whether you like it or not, it's like, no, I'm not doing this, fine, if you can get away from me, uh, then, uh, by the way, wouldn't it be of thinking about that whole scene where he's trying to hide from Ebisu? When Naruto is basically in front of that poster, or that billboard, it's like, what are you doing, Naruto? It was a good idea, just not good enough. What if Naruto should have made that a shadow clone? And then say, like, I was like, oh, you found out, huh? Well, maybe it was a better idea than you thought. He just gives him the finger, just, boom, it's like, a shadow clone? Oh, well, I give him credit. Now, he, he wasted my time thinking I found him. <laughs> He's smart. He is more clever than I give him credit for. See, that would have been a lot smarter to do. Um, regardless, eventually Ebisu does catch him, and not, not obviously, not, again, not just, not just gonna turn a sword on him, like, all willy-nilly, but re regardless. But tell me, you said you didn't need my help. What were you going to do? I was gonna wait, a lot of the, a lot of working on my swordsmanship. Uh, my sword, my sword says they can teach me, uh, teach me a lot. 
Maybe even maybe even learn her name. Her name. Your sword is a she. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like and, and um, you know, he thinks that the third Okage, Okage mentioned this sword. It's an Uzumaki heirloom, uh, said to belong to a demon back in the past. You think this boy could be wielding it though? Hmm. Regardless, still, it's important that we learn. Uh, it's important to teach you. And they head to the hot spring, and he te it shows them the water walking. Now, another big difference here is that Naruto. Once that um, extra seal, uh, three five prong seal, was taken off him, he was water walking fine. So I imagine Naruto really wouldn't have that much of a difficulty water walking to start with. And Ebisu is even like, my word, he's he's already gotten it down. Uh, still practicing, still Naruto practice with it for a few hours. And make sure you get the feel of it. Then we'll move on to something a bit more complicated. And then of course they hear that. <laughs> Are you staring on the whip uh, at the women's baffle, man? I would not allow any irreputable behavior! Oh, please. And then we know the rest. Keep it down, you old fool. You want to get us caught? Uh, it's like, what? You just, uh, you just flattened my trainer. Come on. It's like, well, he was interrupting my research. What research? And it's a heads. Are you pervert at all, man? I'm not a big, I'm not a little, you little pervert? I am not a little pervert. I'm a big one. <laughs> Still one of the best dub lines ever. Um, but, I mean, that act technically happened later when he um, turned into the female version of himself. But here, Naruto... Naruto is just more getting on his case. Like, well, yeah, then you can teach me something. It's like, well, I don't have time to be teaching you anything, kid. I'm busy. What, being a pervert? Uh, beyond that, I have other things to do. Now, if we get lost, you know, it's like, whatever. Like, not like I need you anyway. Come on, let's let's go somewhere else to train. Oh, I got an idea. Let's practice. We can practice uh, practice on the uh, on the on the river. And Dry is noting that Naruto's not talking to him. He's talking to his sword, because Nozorashi now is able to openly communicate. It's just he hasn't learned Nozorashi's name yet. And so a day later happens, and maybe even two days later. And Naruto has actually made a bunch of clones to practice because Nozorashi does, uh, pro uh, is old enough to probably know what the Shadow Clones actually do. Uh, yeah, Nozorashi could have been around for them. So, and that being said, Kenpachi, whatever the Kenpachi of this world uh, was, definitely didn't do Shadow Clones. Kenpachi was a, was like probably a mix of Kisame and Mike Guy, kind of. Like swordmanship and physicality mixed with a little bit of chakra techniques as well. Um, still noted as a demon of the Uzuma, you know, the demon of Zara, formerly, the demon formerly, see, he would have been Kenpachi Uzaraki Uzumaki. Wow, Kenpachi Uzaraki Uzumaki, holy crap, I didn't realize how much that would, like, flow off the title. Or he would have been Kenpachi Uzumaki Zaraki. like, Zaraki would have been a title he gave himself or something back in the day. So that's how we can kind of merge him into the Uzumaki, he was known as the demon. And say, so, so, and even Archie, you asked, what was your former user like? Oh, he was... A warrior beyond compare, a true, a, a true ba Kishin, uh, a war, uh, or a true demon of the battlefield, a Kishin, uh, which I love Kishin, by the way. Kishin is an underrated used Oni. It's a very specific type of Oni, too. Um, <clears throat> like, if you, um, you don't see Kishins come up very much, like, they're, a, it's a big part of Soul Eater, uh, but another, um, manga that did, in fact, use Kishins was, um, Rosario and Vampire. Where it turns out that, spoilers, if you haven't read that manga, the headmaster of the academy, this very sinister looking guy with a rosary bead, it turns out he was a Kishin the whole time. So I'm like, oh, that's badass. And that's kind of what Zaraki's form takes. It's not just an Oni, it's a Kishin, it's a battle demon. So, yeah, it's like, oh, wow, that's awesome. You think I could ever be like that? You have the potential, Naruto, but. But you're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to resonate a lot more before you'll ever be able to learn my name. Uh, lame. Uh, uh, all right, bring it on. And Naruto and her aren't you? And Naruto's like practicing sword styles with his clothes. They're sweat. They're also working out, try, practicing chalk control. Like he's got maybe like a dozen or two clones. Out. He's not like maxing out his clothes or anything. In his head, though, he's pra He's like he's literally practicing sword style. He's fighting with Nozorashi in his head. And losing constantly, because Nozorashi is the sword, and, you know, it's Kenpachi's sword, so this is as master of a swordsman as you're going to get. And just as massive. Like, she's, she seems very gentle when she's not fighting, but then she turns into, like, a combination of probably, like, Unahana and Kenpachi. 
like that sadistic, like the wild eye, but she also probably has fangs. She's like, <laughs> it's like, you, uh, oh, Naruto, you're so fun. It's like, I, I was like, I think I love you. I was like, what? It's like, just kidding. But you need, but seriously, I do, I am growing very fond of you. And she kind of grabs his face. Now, but then, but don't take your eyes off your opponent. Boom. <laughs> so I can see that happening is that meanwhile, though, someone shows up and it's Jiraiya. And it's like, wow, you, you're really, you really weren't kidding. Really uh, getting in or uh, laying into that practice, a uh, sword swinging, huh? And all of a sudden, Naruto kind of, you know, wakes up saying, ah, it's like, what? Hey, it's you. What the hell are you doing here, Pervy Sage? Oh, don't call me that. Anyway, I uh, felt a little bad about what happened yesterday. And to be fair, Dry even says he didn't, to uh, Ebisu, he didn't come to train anyone. He came to, you know, report to the third. But. Let's not mince words. He knew who Naruto was. The fact that he didn't want to train him initially at first, um, and now, now they, he does say it was he was always gonna it, it was always the plan to train Naruto. It just wasn't his intent at that time. But having met Naruto at that time now and seeing that Naruto is actually handling himself all right with his training, so he says, "Ah, oh, well, I was just thinking maybe I could, you know." Maybe you're right. Maybe I do owe you at least a little something. So I figured, why not help you out with your training a little bit? Oh, really? So oh, that's well. All right. I guess you're not so bad. So what would you be tra training me in? Hmm. I was like, I've been thinking about that. But first, I need to ask you a question, Naruto. And he asked him, "Have you ever felt like there's a second source of char uh, second power within you? Hmm? It's like some another power. Oh, are you talking about the Nine Tails? Uh. Oh, well. I uh, see so you've already. Uh, see so you've met him. I uh, see so you know what you're, I'm talking about, huh? I'm going to teach you how to access, I'm part, what I'm partly what I'm going to train you is to, how to access that chakra and power. And to which Nardar says, well, the thing is, and he actually, all of a sudden the wind whoops around him and he's got an aura of red. And I can see when Naruto accesses it on his own, like he does in the tuning exams and against, um, uh, Kisame, his eyes don't turn red. Uh, he doesn't have the slits or anything here though. I think because of the nature of Nozorashi and his personality now, and because he's a bit more, is ba more battle hungry here. I think he does have there. I think his accessing Karama's chakra does now take the form of that initial Jinchuriki glove with a little bit of aura on him. Now the question is, what happened here? Well, cut back to one of the scenes of them training, and what? And Naruto even is actually able to block and even get a lucky kick in on Nozorashi, and she's like, "Oh, that's that's more like it. <laughs> My, more like it. That's more like it, Naruto. <laughs> the bride's never going to learn." It's like, well, what, yeah, what are you doing over there? Just sitting around? I'm sealed inside you, brat. You really think I want to be in here? If you want me out, then just pull the seal and just undo the seal. First off, I don't know how to undo the seal. Second off, uh, no way. I'm not going to let you just wreak havoc on my villa home. But so, and, but more importantly, and he actually just gets up here, uh, born here, we're stuck in this place together. So, you know, you know what? Maybe you should just uh, kind of get on, pay, get on the program. What are you saying? I'm saying that, you know, if I, I'm saying, which surprisingly, you know, says, I'm saying, weirdly enough, thank you for what you have, for helping me against that snake bastard, Orochimaru. If you hadn't, I probably wouldn't have been able to make it out alive, uh, or Sasuke. But still, at the same time, I'm not, I'm going to use your help in the future, and you're stuck in here anyway. So, uh, what I'm saying is, you owe me rent. <laughs> Basically, he's, it's like a weird backhanded compliment Naruto gives, and saying, look, you're in here, we're stuck together, if I need your chakra, let me have access to your chakra. That's all I'm asking. And the fox just actually laughs, but he's also surprised by the thank you. She's like, you're weird, brat, but <laughs> I can't, I won't lie and say you're interesting. Very well, then. I will give you access if you need it. And so, again, I always imagine it kind of like as a red seal and that Naruto just imagines himself pressing it like a button and activates the fox. So he just flexes the chakra and Jaria's like, uh, well, that, uh, that changes my plans for this, uh, for this. I was going to teach you a really cool uh, jutsu to help you access it, but you seem to already be able to access it. But he thinks, still, it can't hurt you to try it out. And it's like, what is it? And he's summoning jutsu! Boom, this. Whoa, he just, where did that come from? It's, like, <laughs> it's a summoning contract uh, with, uh, with a special type of animal. They exist all over the world. Uh, Kakashi, for example, your sensei Kakashi has one with the dogs. Uh, old man has one with the monkeys. I might, and uh, as you probably met in the forest, from what you heard, Orochimaru has one with the snakes. I have one with the toads. And trust me, they're very, they're a very useful comrade to have. Awesome. And how does it work? First, you gotta sign your, uh, sign your name in blood. Next, no, with hand signs. And finally, summoning Jutsu Naruto. 
try it with just your own chakra first, and then we'll try it, and then we'll try it with the foxes. And he tries it with his own chakra, which is already very large. And we know Naruto can actually summon with his own chakra. Uh, technically speaking, he actually can summon Gamabunta, and we see that when he fought Gara. That wasn't the foxes' chakra. We never saw like any red or anything like that. They would have. They would have indicated he was using that chakra. Not to be fair, he was stuck in the sand court too, sand prison too, so we don't know for certain. It's pretty sure, though, that it wasn't uh, the Foxy Chakra. So if he has to, he could summon Gamabunta. And this Naruto probably even has more chakra than the Canyon counterpart. I think, though, because it's his first time, he doesn't summon Gamabunta, but I think he does at least summon Gamakichi. And Naruto's like, whoa! And Naruto's like, whoa, okay, and he bounces off of him. So that's impressive for you to be able to summon Gamakichi on your first try. Uh, whoa! So wait, you summon me, kid? Ah, nice to meet you. I'm Gamakichi. Ah, nice to meet you, too. I look forward to working with you. By the way, I'd say, well, so, uh, can, can I have anything uh, to help compensate from the mass travel? Of course. Yeah, FYI, I always keep a couple snacks on here for these guys. But now let's try it with the fox's chakra. And he just focuses, summons it up, and then boom! <laughs> and then tries it. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting this. Where am I? Amazing. Jiraiya, why did you summon me to this place? Oh, uh, well, uh, hey. Uh, good to see you too, Chief Toad. But it wasn't me. After all, I'm down here in Angama. Wait, that's right. Wait. Who summoned me? Wait, then how did I get here? Uh, to which we actually know he was fully aware. He even said it. It's like, ah, that's me. Sorry about that. It's like, you? <laughs> You're kidding me. Hey, don't don't laugh. It took a lot of effort to get you out of here. I'd use the damn foxes, chocolate, and everything. The foxes. Hmm. So, you're Min And he just thinks to himself, doesn't say it all that. So, this is Minato's boy. Interesting. Yeah, so, you use the fox, not your own. You can't even summon me with your own power. You're useless. And to which Naruto finally gets in his face, like, Who are you calling useless, you fat old toad? To which you can try, it's like, Oh, guy, wait, now, Naruto, he's the, he's the strongest of the toad. You don't want to be. That's like, You, you, what are you calling? Who are you calling fat and what old, you little, you, you little blonde twerp? Yep, the, the, the old leather wall in front of me. It's like, it's not fun. You, it's like, I see you have a little sword. Maybe I should show you mine. And to which Naruto sees the giant F-off blade. And surprisingly, he hops down off a of Gambuta. And he's it's like, now Naruto, uh, maybe we should. And Naruto should still have some fox chakra left in him. Surprise, his eyes might be gone. He's still got a little bit left, left in him. So he's like, I've still got a little fox chakra left over. You want to go, old man? And to which, uh, to which, no, Gamabunta and, and Dry are like, what? Well, it's pretty good Dry, but Gamabunta's like, he sees a blade a hundred times his size and he, he welcomes the challenge. Mm. <laughs> you can see it. Naruto, he's not, uh, he's not that he's not scared. He's. Excited, he wishes to fight an opponent my size and scale. <laughs> Come on! And it's like, let's go! And to which, uh, and to which combo actually. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you've got ball, you've got guts, kid. I'll grant you that. And he just sheets his sword. Mm. Truth be told, I'm not an idiot. I'm aware you're the one who summoned me. It's like you are. Wait, we're not gonna fight. No, of course not. Despite your courage and a little bit of the fox's chocolate still residing in you, I would crush you. I'd crush you in an instant. But I admire the bravery. Uh, at another point in time, we'll have to seal the deal. But for now, if you desperately need me, and not before, I look. I will acknowledge you as a summoner of the toads. Until then, don't summon me unless it's important. <laughs> and so, Gamabut is gone. He's like, oh, well, that went a lot better. You Were you really about to take him on, kids? Like, yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> it's like, ah. <laughs> so, well, we'll work on your control as the time, as throughout the month. And so for the next week or so, they're working on the actual final control of summoning individual toads to the point where Naruto gets it. And Naruto is actually a very fast learner. We know this. So he gets it down pretty quick. He can actually summon pretty much any of the toads he needs, probably by the end of like a week and a half. So there's two and a half weeks left in dry his thinking. There's no way he's going to be able to master it in two and a half weeks, but I wonder. Hey, kid, you want to learn one more technique? It's like, hey, look, I'm down. It's like, you've been, your swordsmanship skills have been getting a lot better, too. And it's like, well, I, I gotta thank uh, Gama, whatever this one. Maybe Gama, because Gama also had armor on him. We know swords, and a lot of the toads know Kenjutsu, but the big one, there's no way Naruto could fight him. Um, but, uh, oh, battery's getting low. Luckily, I'm nearly done with the video. And so...
Um, so there may be some solid, and Narch is probably now training with the Toads, and can, so he actually has someone who isn't himself to fight with, along with Nosorus, so it's really a boon to his, uh, swordsmanship. But he shows him the Rasengan, he's like, hold on, I've got to get a couple of things, throws him a couple of balloons, water balloons, like, so you got to pop the balloon first. And Naruto is surprisingly able to do it because of the raw, like, just the raw power Naruto has at this point, and the increase, and so Jirai is surprised by this, and his shock control is a lot better in this version, too, by a long margin. And so, <clears throat> all right, now you got to do this. And the ball, though, the ball takes a while. In fact, I think the ball is like, he gets, finally pops it in the last couple days. Because he does have the help of Nozorashi. He's had to give him some advice. Not that Nozorashi is really tailored for this. And <clears throat> then comes the final technique, a uh, few days where he's trying to control it. Long and short, he's not going to have it by the end of the exam. In fact, I'm going to say right now, he won't even have it during the exam. Uh, like when he fights Neji, gonna spoil that right now. He's not gonna just suddenly learn the race saying God. He's he's getting it better, but he can't get it quite down. He can't even get it with two hands yet. But that's neither here nor there. Naruto is has the meeting with Hinata as he's wondering if he can beat Neji. Neji is exceptionally strong, but he's also relishing the challenge. And he even says, you know, I was I was a little worried, but I was also looking forward to the fight because he seems really strong. Yeah, so are you gonna use your sword against a strong opponent? I always use my blade. Because it's only fair. Strength to meet strength. But thank you, Hinata. Now, I always used to think you're kind of weird. But the truth is, I kind of like people like you. And so, the day comes. And we start with Naruto versus Neji. And that is where we're going to end part three. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.